the green anaconda, known as the heaviest snake in the world. They reach up to 25 feet long and can weigh more than 300 pounds. To support its bulk, anacondas spend almost all of their time in and around water. Camouflaged to blend into plant-choked water, this snake usually waits for prey to come to it. Eyes and nostrils positioned on top of their heads allow the snakes to remain almost completely submerged as they wait to ambush. The anaconda shares this flooded plain with the capybara, the largest rodents on Earth, often reaching more than 100 pounds. Capybara are social animals and herbivores. Much of their diet consists of aquatic plants, so they spend a lot of time near water. Prime hunting ground for the anaconda. Underwater, it can stalk without being seen, poking its head up just long enough to gauge the distance. Then, it waits. It strikes latching on with six rows of teeth, coiling itself around the large rodent. There is no escape. Anacondas don't kill with venom. They are constrictors. They compress the blood flow to their prey's heart, causing cardiac arrest. Once the heart has stopped beating, they begin to eat their meal whole, toes and all. They do this with the help of both stretchy ligaments and mobile joints in their mouths. In the middle of the anaconda's upper jaw are two rows of backward pointing teeth. These teeth can move independently, biting into prey and helping move the snake's head up and over its meal. But eating this way creates a problem. With its mouth stretched so tightly, breathing could be a challenge. Evolution developed a solution for that. The windpipe gets pushed forward from deep within the throat. It becomes like a snorkel, effortlessly breathing while feeding. It's a huge meal. The anaconda will rest, digesting its catch for weeks. A capybara this size will satisfy it for months, but eventually it will need to feed again. 